Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ms. Vina Rawat, who is a senior uh, spectrum advisor for GSMA and is also a member of the Canadian delegation here. Vina, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, uh, WRC 19. Why, why is this a, a, an important event in, uh, in uh, most countries' calendars, let's say? Well, it is a very important WRC. Most WRCs are very important, but it's uh, particularly very important because, for, for example, it's going to deal with uh, spectrum for 5G services, and you know the impact of 5G is significant socioeconomic impact. So that's really one area this WRC is going to be addressing. But there are many other areas. It's not it's only dealing with the new technologies for terrestrial services like 5G, but it's also going to be dealing with many, many satellite issues and other issues such as maritime mobile and stuff. So, you know, we are looking forward to a good outcome for, from this WRC. Now, uh, just on, on Friday, I know that you were participated in a, a networking of women event now, uh, I think is the, the acronym for it. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that, what uh, the issues are that it's, it's trying to face. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, this network of women, uh, I'm really pleased that the uh, Bureau started, BR started this, because uh, I am participating in it since uh, the BR started this of uh, 2016 I think and uh, all I can tell you is I've had a number of mentees and there are a number of other mentors who have come forward and who have helped out a number of first timers for this and the most important thing is you know we can talk to the mentees uh, and do a lot of conversations but from my perspective I have actually seen some actual results my mentees, and I'm sure that's the case for the other mentors also, that uh, they have come to me and said explicitly that with, through this program, by having the conversations and having, you know, going through this, whatever time we spent together, that they feel so much more confident and they have actually implemented in terms of starting to take leadership roles, whether it is at national level, regional level or ITU level, so that they are starting to do it. So I have suggested to the organizers of NOV now that you know it would be really nice, I'm hearing that, other mentors are hearing that, that it would be really good to get that impact and talk about it. Then uh, more younger women, the first timers will come and you know, uh, say that this, this is a real program which is making an impact. Because historically there's not been a great representation of women at, at this, this particular uh, event. The representation is not to our expectation. You know, it hasn't been growing for sure, but we need to work hard at it. Okay, uh, you know, I can say that my expectation is that I was the chair of the WRC in 2003, and if I had my way, I, I would like to be preparing someone to be actually a chair chairing a WRC. But these are baby steps, and we need to take them. And I'm really pleased in that context that uh, we didn't have a woman chair for the CPM. And now Canada, Cindy Cook from Canada, would be chairing the CPM for WRC 23. The conference preparatory meeting. Conference, conference preparatory meeting. So that's, that's the step in the right direction. If we have women chairing CPM, then I'm hoping that women will, you know, there will be another opportunity for women to chair WRC. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Well, what's your impression? Is it, is it that, that women and, and generally don't feel that this is the right place for them or, or that they haven't seen the opportunities that are available in radio communications? No, I think it starts from ground up. They have to be, first the national administrations have to bring them here, right? Then they have to be, because this is not something you read in textbooks. This is on the ground, you have this experience. And that's how people grow. So you start taking some leadership roles from a smaller group to larger to larger. So the national administrations have to bring them. Okay? Then they have to have the opportunity here to learn about the processes, how the processes, you know, a lot of things to learn. Okay? And this mentoring program is helping for, for them to learn all that. And there are so many senior women now within the ITU. They have done the WRCs for more than a few WRCs and they are for coming forward and devote, devoting their time, committing their time to bring a number of first-timers. Because we just had a meeting of uh, now, 
the other day here and uh, there were a number of, the question was asked how many first timers are here, there were a number of them. So I think uh, we need to move forward and uh, get these women prepared and it requires planning. It's not just, you know, you can become a chair or a leadership role just by over one year. So if we want some, someone to chair a WRC 23, well, the planning has to start now. Planning and I would imagine also stamina as well because this is a long conference. This, this conference can last over four weeks. It, uh, it, it must be something which, uh, say, people are not necessarily used to uh, have, having such intense sessions for, for, for such a long period of time. Yeah, but that applies to everyone, right? That applies to men and women because it's long session for everyone. And the, 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 the key is to really manage your energy level. You know, we're here to deal with spectrum and it's management of spectrum through these regula regulations we produce here. But at the same time, we can't do it unless we manage ourselves, you know, uh, maintain ourselves. So that is a key thing. So yes, you're right, it, it's long, but we get through it. We get through it. it it's like a big family. Coming, yeah. coming back to the conference, at the end of this conference, what, what do you hope will be the conclusions of it? How, how do you hope people will, will be going home? Well, my expectation is, I've done so many WRCs, that my expectation is that you know the administrations come here, they have their priorities, individual priorities, at regional level priorities. So my expectation is that the outcome will be to meet most of the priorities or expectations these administrations came in with. And that can only happen if everybody collaborates. And hopefully before the last week, <laughs> that, that's, that's the hope, but definitely in the last week, you know, before we can go home, that uh, uh, we meet our, uh, what the expectations were. Well, let's hope so and wish you the very best over the next few weeks and, and thank you very much for joining us in the studio, Vina. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.